Netherlands had a base known as the Vault that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hopus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet intelligence believes that someone is bringing the vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Halcona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. I have new missions for you. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tanay has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, you take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. If you have a runabout fighter or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Any questions? What? Oh, that mythical boogeyman organization? No, this is a standard Starfleet operation at the behest of Admiral Tanay and supported by Starfleet intelligence. In case you were wondering, that means that you should observe all regulations and don't start a war. Any questions? Borg technology, Thaleron weapons like the ones used by Shinzon, Cloaking mines and heavy graviton beams? We're not entirely sure. That's why we need eyes inside. The station itself is near a micro nebula and surrounded by a tachyon detection grid. Even a cloaked ship wouldn't be able to sneak in there. You should also expect automated defenses like turrets and cannons. We haven't spotted any ships in the vicinity, fortunately. Although with Romulan cloaking, anything is possible. Any questions? Starfleet will make sure to have a ship or two in range for a rapid response in case of emergency. Hopefully, though, you'll be able to keep things quiet and that won't be necessary. Of course, missions rarely go exactly as planned. Any questions? Very well. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft, runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake this mission. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Hakona system otherwise. Good luck.
Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense. It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Indications are that this vessel was refitted for asteroid mining. Apparently, a containment failure in the engine core led to a massive radiation surge. The engine went into emergency shutdown, but all of the couplings and injectors were burned out. The crew probably died due to instant radiation burns. It looks like the vessel was stripped for parts and left derelict. Although the vessel's engine core is a total loss, some of the backup computer systems were left intact. This vessel was used to deploy some of the tachyon detection satellites around the vault. There's a copy of the network algorithm in the computer memory. If we put the tachyon satellites along the final meridian into maintenance mode, we can create a gap in the detection grid that will let us slip through. If we can get close to the base without passing through the detection grid, we should be able to put a satellite into maintenance mode. Then that will give us a gap that will allow us to slip into the station itself undetected. Approaching the tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. The satellite's in maintenance mode. We can pass through the net. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. some security systems. The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key.
This defense turret was hooked into the part security of the security key network. Is on a rotation. There's a security Each code, code and it sub matches a piece of code one block key. six seven key five. Key the appropriate code when the rotation matches to it. Trying a code on the wrong rotation will probably invalidate that. That's it. Well done. We should be able to bypass the system and gain access now. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. Microgravity storage crates, mostly construction supplies. No weapons or unusual energy signatures. Above us, that's a Borg Sphere. The Tal Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. The Borg Sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the sphere is hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Quiet in this area. Too quiet. This is disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. 
Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. Appreciate your level-headedness in an unfortunate situation. As you must have surmised, though, I have already located the Thaleron weapons that I need. One of my ships has completed transporting them, and soon we shall make our first strike against the Romulans in our war for liberation. Sadly, we cannot trust any outside powers to ally with us. Our freedom must be won by our own hands. Your honesty under pressure is refreshing. Lesser beings would be scheming to learn my plans or begging for mercy. Your intellect and discretion do you credit. I will deal with the future when it arrives. For me, there is no tomorrow until my people are free. However, I respect your commitment to your position. It's a shame we are at cross purposes. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous.
blast the door locks. Hall integrity below 50%. must stop Obasek's ship. They cannot be allowed to possess Thaleron weapons. We can use the subspace booster satellite outside the station to send a message to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the interior. But Obasek's warship will almost certainly attack us when we do. We'll have to survive long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Reinforcements have arrived and are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. We are now... USS Laza is signaling us. They're going to engage the Riemann ship, but they want us to take care of the fighters and plasma torpedoes. <laughs> Quite an explosion. Probably from the Thaleron weapons carried aboard the ship. We're going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space.
Taking a preliminary look at your logs, and it seems that things went a bit unexpectedly. I have a feeling this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the vault. The Riemann commander you encountered is definitely a major player in the disintegration of the Romulan Star Empire. I'm going to send the information you gathered about him over to an old colleague of mine, Dr. Maximilian Peters, for analysis. If this Riemann is a leader in their separatist movement, we'll have to deal with him again. And hopefully, Dr. Peters can work up a psychological profile for him, and a sociological analysis of the Separatists. Our next step will be to decode the signal intelligence and go through any remnants left from the ship that was destroyed near the vault. Now that we know that the Remans were hoping to use Thaleron weapons, we need to figure out their target location. Right now, Starfleet knows far too little about a civil war in the making, but it'll take time to sift through all of the data. Keep in touch. Starfleet will notify you when we have a lead. Oh, and thanks for the good work. Excellent work. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. Sela's forces may indeed be hounding the Remans, but the use of Thaleron weapons is unacceptable. Not even the Klingons or the Breen will stoop to such barbarism. Starfleet Intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the base's databanks. The next step may be to investigate these sites and find out why the Remans want to destroy them. I have Congratulations, Commander. I do not know. Obasek and his people have traveled a most difficult path. After so many years of oppression and Romulan treachery, it does not surprise me that they are suspicious of anyone. The Remans gain much in the years after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but Sila is more secure in her power now, and she may believe that she no longer needs the Remans as allies. If the Romulans seek to enslave the Remans again, there will be bloodshed. I have <laughs> We'll be right